Verse 14. For the love of Christ compels us. This love of Christ in us makes us understand that everybody, including those people that we don't like so much, Jesus died for them and he has paid for their sins. So we don't regard them according to the flesh anymore. Because when Christ was here on earth, we looked at him from the same perspective, a fleshly perspective, and we failed to get the goodness out of him. We failed to benefit from him because we looked at him just like any other man on planet earth. It's like something say, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. So, the love of God compels us. Therefore, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh, even though we have known Christ according to this flesh, yet now we know him thus no longer. Now you cannot call Christ's names. Right now. You can't call him names. They say when his name is mentioned, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is to the glory of God the Father. They say that God has given him a name above all other names. You can't regard him any longer. I've told you the other time that when John, the disciple, was walking with Christ before the cross, he used to lean on him when they are eating. He'll brag, I'm the best friend. He loves me more. But when John met him, the glorified Christ, he couldn't even look at him. He went down flat. He went prostrate. Because we don't regard him any longer. We don't take him like an uncle anymore. He's not that friend. He's not that guy upstairs. I hear young men saying that guy upstairs. He is not that guy upstairs. We regard him that way no longer. Now we know him as a glorified God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But when he was walking on the streets of Israel, nobody thought that he has a name above all other names. No one knew that every knee shall bow before him. No one knew that every tongue will confess that he is God to the glory of God the Father. No one knew that. But now... We regard him that way no longer. And because of that, don't look at people from a fleshly viewpoint. All these people, Jesus died for them. He has paid for their sins. You don't know what they'll become tomorrow. 